Hello and welcome to this TIBCO Mashery introduction video. Today's subject is Mashery Tools. Mashery Tools is a GitHub project that has been made available to the Mashery community. It provides an optional set of tools that can be used to help manage your Mashery area. This video will demonstrate how to install the project from GitHub and then how to import an API into Mashery. We recommend you read the instructions provided on GitHub in the README files. This video assumes you already have Node.js installed. It also assumes that you have a valid Mashery v3 API key. This can be requested from Mashery support. First, we need to download the project. You can pull directly from the GitHub repository, or you can download the package as a zip and then unpack it. In the expanded API definition converter directory, there is a sample credential file. We need to edit this file and save it as credential.js. In the file, enter your Mashery account details your v3 API key in secret, and then enter the area credentials for each of the areas you wish to manage. Change my area name as required. Note that you will also need the area's UUID. If you don't know this value, the simplest way to find it out is to go to the control center, click on the area name in the header area, copy the area ID value into the credentials file. From a command line, we need to use npm to install the Node.js packages. First, from the root directory, do an npm install. Now navigate to the subdirectory, node modules slash mashery, and run npm installed again. Navigate back to the root directory to start the tool server. Now go to your browser to access the tools. The list of tools is displayed. We can do things like copy an API or import an API specification. We can import RAML, Swagger, Waddle, and WSDL. Let's look at our Swagger import. In this page, we can specify the target mashery area, the source of the Swagger file, which can be a URL or a file on the local machine. Let's now do a file import. Select a local Swagger definition. We have two options. We can preview the result of the import and we can validate the Swagger definition. But let's just do the import, so uncheck the preview option. Click on load file and wait for the import to complete. Let's look at what's been created. We will see the API, mash demo one. with two endpoints and one method, along with other configuration information for the API. If we look at the IO docs, we will see the line is blank, as there's currently no definition. Go back to Mashery Tools and import the Swagger to create the IO docs. Select Swagger to IO docs. Select the file and then load the file. Switch back to Mashery to see the generated IO doc. Let's add the new API to an existing package and plan. Select the package, select the plan, go to the plan designer, select the API to add, expand to show the endpoints and methods. Save the changes. Switch to the developer portal to test the new API. From the drop down list, select MASH Demo 1. Select the company API, click Try It. You will see the response from the target system. We hope you found this video useful. Please check out other videos in this series.